guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been meaning to update my kitchen tour video. I have not posted one in a, I want to say like nine months. And a lot has changed in here. So without further ado, let me show you around. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with, obviously I still have the same table. I love this table. Um, I did switch out the plant. I had a pothos there, but um, with the sun coming through this window, it was too much sunlight for that plant. So I put the jerkinia over here and swapped out the pothos plant and put it in the living room over there. So start with the fridge and then go to the freezer. Um, I recently just went grocery shopping, so let me show you what I normally eat in the summertime. Down here, I usually keep my fruit. I have my grapes oranges and mandarins those are my like three main essentials um i do love pomegranates but they are not around this season usually in the fall if they were around they'd be in there too over here i have my plantains and every time my niece comes over she tries to grab one of them thinking that they're bananas but i constantly have to tell her they are not bananas <laughs> Um, I always have my almond milk on hand because I do eat cereal and I also make smoothies with it as well. Some water. Um, I have my aloe leaf back there. I use that for my like face moisturizer at nighttime and it's also great for like acne scars and they're only a dollar at Stop and Shop. And then in the little jug here, I have my vegan sausage. I put it in here because it leaks everywhere. That happened to me one time and um, they are marinated, so orange sauce was like all over the fridge. It was a disaster. Up here, I have my little avocado saver, but I have like an onion saved in there right now because I don't have any avocados on hand. So I just keep it in there and I have my little lime. If I'm sick of water, I will add like a couple drops of lime in my water. So it'll be like a lime citrusy taste. Down below, these are all the sauces that I use. Um, kind of weird seeing a minimalist with a lot of like condiments. These four like sauces I use to marinate my veggies with. So I always have like a Hawaiian barbecue sauce, and all of these are vegan. So just keep that in mind as well. Everything I have is vegan. Um, so with this sauce. I bought this about last month and it's really really good it's basically like barbecue sauce and pineapple juice mixed um, I do have a sweet tooth and that's why I go towards more like sweet sauces my sister called me a couple days ago to tell me if I wanted her Hawaiian sauce she did not like it because she don't really have a sweet tooth um, so I did go and pick this up so I can save money because once when that's gone I'll just switch over to this one and these were two for four these are like my favorite, favorite dipping sauces and marinating sauces. So this is sweet and sour. And then back here is mango. And these are delicious. If you guys like sweet sauces, definitely try any of these and you will not be disappointed. Over here, I use for my salads. Now, I'm not much of a fan of salad dressings, but this one is probably my top favorite. It's like a strawberry champagne. It's it's a vinaigrette, but it's still sweet and it works really great. I put like cranberries and stuff in my salad with this and it's delicious. Back here, this is what I usually make my rice with. Uh, I absolutely love, love rice. So I marinate my rice with that. So that's basically my fridge. Um, come on up here, this is where I make my grocery list. I just take it off write what I need down um, this is my like bills what I've paid I have a video on this I'll link it down below if you guys want to figure out how to organize your bills this method works amazing and I never forget to pay a bill all right coming into my freezer so I do keep these little freeze pops these are sour patch watermelon ones I know not the healthiest thing but these are for my niece and nephew when they come over and also for me <laughs> for like a little snack if it's really hot out curly fries my absolute favorite favorite kind of fries in the entire world crabless cakes I bought these to try them and they're all right so I have my frozen vegetables here I have my frozen bananas because in a recent video that I just made uh, I always make banana ice cream 
and I've been dying for onion rings lately, but all the onion rings at Stop and Shop and grocery stores near me have milk in them, except for these. These are vegan and they also are gluten-free, soy-free. They're veggie rings, so instead of onion rings, it's more like cauliflower, white beans, and onions. These are like my favorite thing right now. I absolutely love them. If you guys want to, if you guys, even if you guys aren't vegan, definitely give these a try. Over here, I have, this is my fruit and veggie. So with this, I just add some juice. I bring this to work with me because this would be my breakfast in the morning. I'm able to do this at work because I work in a kitchen and I also do add some strawberries as well. So working in the kitchen, I'm able to use the blender anytime. These are also from the dollar store and I tried them like a couple weeks ago and I fell in love. So I bought three more. Um, these are vegan as well. And these are just spring rolls. I pop them in the oven and these are like, I usually have this with some like other veggies on the side for a meal or even for a snack and these taste just like a, the Thai restaurant I usually go to in Boston so these are definitely worth trying as well and then of course I have to have my ripe plantains these are like super super sweet plantains and I usually cook those those can go in the microwave or the oven or you can do whatever you want with them um, I usually put them in the microwave and then I smash them up if I'm having like a sweet tooth I'll eat those with like these or you know some kind of vegan meatless meat So the one thing that I hate the most is obviously having the microwave up on top of the fridge But I don't have anywhere else to put it So she's been staying there ever since I moved in here and but I can't really complain that much because this microwave was free when I came into the apartment, it was already here, so I'm very thankful. And I'm very thankful that it's tiny because I'm not a fan of big microwave. All right, so this is my main cabinet. I have my lunchbox, my Tupperware, because I'm not a fan of like wrapping things in plastic or foil. I believe just Tupperware works fine and there's no waste. I know, kind of odd having just one cup. Um, let me explain. I was doing dishes the other day and trying to move really fast and i broke like three glasses at once it was like it was like glass like everywhere so i only got one cup right now i'm meaning to stop at dollar tree to pick up three more i like to have four on hand because sometimes my sisters visit me and all that stuff so yeah i have just three bowls that's perfectly fine for me three plates and a cup i'm meaning to get one more plate um, just because like I said, I like to have four cups and then four plates in case company comes over. I have my tea cup right here. So when I have tea at night and that is basically it. Um, up there is just, I have like an empty jar. That's usually for like tea light candles and stuff. If the power goes out, I'll put it in there. Now in here, I just keep my onions and my garlic cloves in here so up top i have my rice brown sugar for like i have oatmeal and stuff another thing of rice because it would not fit in that one um so this is not cinnamon toast crunch this is actually a vegan version because the regular version has vitamin d3 which is not a vegan vitamin over here you kind of can't see it but this is just my dates i keep my dates in here because they're super sticky and they last longer in these little glass jars instead of like a plastic jar so i keep those in there and i use this for my ice cream and here i keep my pistachios and i'm running low i love pistachios i put these in my salads i also put them like if i'm having like crackers and stuff i'll pack those with me for a snack at work these are my spices a lot different than before i used to have like the spice um, baby jars but I had gotten rid of those and seen these at Ikea for, they were, I think they were like $5 for four each. So I, pen, I spent $10 on eight of them. And the best thing about these is you can either have them like this or you can put them like that. So they're very like versatile, like you can use them any way you want. I usually just keep them regular like that. And you guys are probably wondering why they're not labeled. I remember all of my seasonings. These are the only ones I use. And then over here, I have my little Lazy Susan from the dollar store. 
and I just keep my other canned vegetables here. I love beets, yams, and chickpeas, so I always keep these on hand. So that is my cabinet situation. Any questions on anything I have with food or anything, leave down below and I'll answer. So moving on to, so this is the cabinet above the stove. Um, I keep my tea in this mason jar. I just use the Yoji tea. Now I usually have the Calm Tea, which is the purple one in the back, and I have my Healthy Skin. Um, that's just an empty mason jar. I'm not sure what I, I'm gonna put in there, but that was a gift someone gave to me for, um, I believe Christmas, so I just keep it in there. Might need it one day. Um, over here, my extra virgin olive oil, coconut spray, and the bag that you see right there with the clothespin, that's falafel mix. Um, I usually make like falafel balls or like burgers. They're absolutely delicious. I have my cornstarch back there to thicken up like sauces. Um, fig bar, tortilla wraps on the bottom. And this is like my snack little like cabinet. Um, obviously these aren't a snack, but this is my breadcrumbs. These are vegan breadcrumbs for my cauliflower that I bake. And my snack pea chips in the back for a snack and my favorite snack right now are the Lenny and Larry cookie bars I guess um these things are huge and they have so much protein they're vegan um they're also like non-gmo and they have like, what's it, like 10 grams of fiber and 16 grams of protein moving on into my little silverware drawer it kind of still looks the same I added these little um I want to say like they stop the things from moving so when you move the drawer it doesn't get everywhere so I cut this up this was from the dollar store these little mats so it keeps like the stuff from moving and it keeps it nice and neat and organized which I love um way in the back is my measuring cups can opener and my ice cream little scooper and down below from that drawer I just have my two pans my little um bowl that I make my mashed potatoes in and all that good stuff. Um, the green thing that you see in the strainer is to make veggie noodles. It works really well and I bought that from Ikea for like two dollars. So instead of having like pasta noodles you just get a zucchini or cucumbers and you can just twirl it in there and it'll make noodles. Um, two pans and that is basically what I cook with. I don't need a whole lot of pans and stuff because obviously it's just me that lives here. In here, do not mind this in the staining. That is from the last tenant. I try to like remove this and it, it just won't because this is sticky. So let's just ignore all that and the staining does not come out either. I tried. I might get a mat to just put onto here. Um, maybe like a cloth mat so it's a lot more sturdy and less dirty looking so in the bucket right there that's usually what i wash my car with that's all my car stuff um i do wash my own car i don't go through any car washes or anything like that i kind of like doing things myself so i know that they're clean like how i like them to be and not a machine just half ass in it i guess <laughs> um this is for when i clean my fish tank and over here is for my plants so I can water them and spray them and I just keep that together over there on the other side I know it's super dark in here but bear with me um, I have my things that I usually use to cook with scissors you guys know um, or if you don't know I don't use a pizza cutter I love vegan pizza I use scissors to cut the pizza which works 10 times better and these are my, so these are like my food scissors I keep these in here for that um, my, for my mashed potatoes, my little masher, my toaster, and the cans back there are for that suitcase. That is my boot-in, like a fuel thing. Um, I use it for when I go camping because I don't like to use the grills that are at the campsite because they're usually filthy and I don't know what they cooked on. I know I sound like a princess, but I like things to be sanitized, so I'll just bring one of my pans and bring my own little stove where I just put the gas in there and then that's it. It's obviously really dark, but 
I have my glass cleaner right there with the vinegar and water mix. So that's ready to go if I need to clean a mirror or anything. Um, up top, I have my Murphy oil behind the vinegar. Um, my WD-40 for like my car doors, they get really squeaky. And also my doors in my apartment. So I'll just spray the hinges with that and the squeakiness is gone. Um, in that little birthday box, I actually reused and recycled. This was from like my niece and something. Um, I actually put my tea light candles in there. I have a bunch of them and that's when the power goes out. I just use those. I got garbage bags on hand. And then I have my lighter and my paintbrush um, in case I need to paint anything. I just keep that as well. Over here, this is like my blender mix, the Ninja that I have. Um, I usually make the ice cream in this one. Smoothies in here. And these all come with like lids so I can just store it in the fridge. And I keep them in this little, um, I'm just like a cloth pouch thing. I have a bunch of these in my apartment. Um, so if I need it, I just grab it from the handle and put it back. Those are from the dollar store as well. So my other drawer next to the stove, I usually keep my dishcloths. You guys know I don't like paper towels. I just have a bunch of dish rags. Um, this side is all in the wash. I gotta wash those. More garbage bags. Um, I got garbage bags when I moved out last year and I just have them from people giving them to me. So that's why I have a lot. My oven mitts. And that's about it for this drawer. Again, that tacky cow print. I hate it. I might do something about it one day. Um, and then I keep my dish towel here that I'm using. And as for my stove, I had bought in these like black um, stove tops, this electric stove. They only came with three, so that one's silver. Kind of awkward, but I never use the back burners. I just use the front one, so I kind of just ignore that back one because they don't sell them individually. It only comes in a pack of three. So I wasn't about to buy another pack of three just to make that one perfect. Kind of a waste of money. But I do think that the black looks 10 times better than the silver. As for here, I actually keep my pan. This is like one of my favorite pans. Um, my friend gave me this for Christmas and I use this, believe it or not, I use this for pizza. So I make like a deep dish pizza and I use this for my fries, for basically anything that was in the freezer, I put in here and it works fine. So I don't need to buy additional like pans. And this straw is my cooking stuff because I do like to bake, but I am taking a break from it since it is summertime. Um, I'll probably pick it back up in the winter, but I like to bake for my family and for parties and stuff. So yeah, I keep all that stuff in here. And mostly all this stuff was for free. Um, it was from my job, so they were giving out this for free, this for free, and that was a gift because I've always wanted one of these. So that is the end of my updated kitchen tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to throw a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new here. Also, little question, I know you guys like my plant videos. If you want me to do an update on all the plants I have, um, I can go one by one to show you guys like all the update and the growth of them. So let me know down below and I will gladly do that video because most of my plants have grown huge, especially my palm tree is crazy big now. So I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys get on with your lives. I will catch you guys in the next video.